now one of the questions I get asked the most from drummers is the question of how do I get to infuse my kick into rudiments while practicing playing chops or doing drum solo. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the little secrets that are going to help you guys learn how to add your kicks into rudiments while playing. And as always, you know the best thing to do when watching my videos is to make sure you watch till the end so as to ensure you don't miss out on any part of the video that the main thing you're looking for is being demonstrated. So now before getting fully into the lesson, I want you to listen to me. I can relate perfectly with the idea of not being able to infuse your kicks into rudiments because I myself, I had that issue for years and even till now sometimes I still struggle with it and just because I have these secrets, I can now find a way to do it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement these things because you know playing rudiments with just your hands can be very very boring and it makes your practice sessions tiring. So today we're going to be learning how to add your kicks into rudiments and create very amazing and powerful chops. So now I'm going to be picking up a few rudiments, just two of them, to further illustrate my point. And the first one we're going to be working with is the paradido dido. So if you don't know the paradido dido, the paradido dido is simply right, left, right, right, left, left. But I don't believe you are here to learn the paradido dido. So this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your kick into the paradido dido. Playing paradido dido fast, it sounds like this. Depends on what you want to ascent. If you want to ascent your first two notes, it sounds. But if you want to ascend just the first note, it sounds like this. Yeah. So play it slowly. I don't want to take your time. That's why I'm kind of rushing. Calvin Rogers uses this a lot while he plays. This is like his go to rudiment. It's just six strokes. So now, talking about how to infuse your kicks into your rudiments while you're playing. Now, I'm going to be substituting the last note of this paradido dido. Yes, I'm going to be substituting the last note of the paradido dido. That's the left with my kick instead. So see how it sounds. I did. I think I've thought this in one of my videos before, but. I'm going to be showing you guys towards the end, as I said, how to merge them into different things. So make sure you stay around to the end of this video. Let's speed it up. You get so so many things you can do with this. You can put your first hand, your first um, note on your rectum. You can put, oh, let me try something else. Anything you want to do, you can do. It's the same thing. So when you see people playing fast chops, you hear. So for that illustrations on how to use this, you can also do. Now onto the second um, rudiment we're going to be working with, which is the six stroke row. Now I made the video talking about this one and if you've not checked that video out, I'll leave the link to the video up here. I'm not going to take too much time explaining. The six stroke row as you know already is just right, left, left, right, right, left, right. You get. So playing it fast. So now what we did in that video was that we took just the first, the six stroke row, played it on the right hand, um, exchanged the last note, that is the left, you get, with the kick instead, and then we alternated it to the left hand. So see how it sounds. If you don't understand it very properly yet and you want to get a detailed explanation, please check out that video. I'm going to put it up again. So So you see how much we just changed a regular six stroke row that is to So now 
on to the main thing I'm going to be showing you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to merge these stuffs together. Now we have the paradido de do and we have the six stroke row. What do we do now? We put both the paradido de do and the six stroke row together. So you have something like this. You see, it sounds almost like the same thing, but these are two different rudiments. Now, when you begin to enjoy it is when you begin to apply the orchestrations of this thing. Now, let me orchestrate it properly, and you see how it sounds. So, for instance, we want to merge them together. We start with the paradiddle de do one of the orchestrations I taught you just earlier in this video that was... Um, remember, I just did it a few, um, few minutes ago, so... By the way, are you gaining knowledge from this video and you're not subscribed yet? Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's continue the lesson. So we'll play the paradido de do some certain number of times, and then we play the six stroke row. So see how it sounds. So it's it sounds boring like this. So when you speed it up, you hear things like. So you see how it sounds so you can create so many other crazy things out of this simple idea you just pick up a rudiment substitute the kicks where they were not existing initially and pick up another one substitute the kicks where they were not existing and you create something very crazy applying that as a chop you hear something like this I do that very simple. You get it. So I believe today's video was very helpful and I hope you try this out in your practice sessions. I just basically gave you a rough sketch of how you can, you know, pick up your, your rudiments and play around with them. And if you love this video, I would love it so much. I would appreciate it so much if you subscribe to this channel and check out this video right here. YouTube thinks it's the best video you should watch next. See you guys in the next video. Peace.